In this series of videos you will see how to create light and strong body parts of complex shape, from a photograph or sketch to a finished metal coated composite part. In this video we will look at how to set up your 3D printer to quickly print large objects and print the part modeled in the previous video. Likes and comments below, so we begin. Usually printing large objects such as parts for cosplay suits take long hours and sometimes several days, such parts take kilos of plastic, kilowatt hours of electricity and even if the part is printed from the first attempt, without thread breakage, without tearing off the part from the table and without other problems, then the strength of the part, even with a high feel factor, is never enough. Stronger and more expensive materials with the addition of carbon fibers allow for a slight increase in detail along the print lines, but do not allow to achieve the required fracture strength. When using any material, the part printed using FDM technology in any case will break between layers, even after a slight load. After hundreds of tests of different materials, printing techniques and all sorts of composite reinforcement combination, here is the solution that seems to me the most technologically advanced and easiest to do. We use cheap and affordable FDM printers and basic printing materials as PLA for the manufacture of the thin matrix of the part with the strength necessary only for further reinforcement. And then we reinforce the part with the composite materials to the strength required for your goals. With this technology, the fibers of composite materials will be directed along the surface of the part and will provide sufficient strength. The standard nozzle diameter that is installed on most 3D printers is 0.4 mm. For printing large parts, it is better to replace it with a nozzle with diameter of 1 mm. This will significantly increase the printing speed, increase the strength of the part due to the fact that the interlayer adhesion area will increase by two times and, most importantly, will make it possible to print a large part in just one layer. After replacing the nozzle, we make changes to the print settings and recalibrate the height of the table. One millimeter nozzle allows you to print with a large height up to 0.5 mm and get light and strong parts many times faster. Printing this mask, for example, took a little over one hour. So far, based on tests with different materials, I have come to conclusion that it is better to use PLA for printing large single-layer parts. Originally, I wanted to use ABS because it is more resilient than PLA and easier to send, but eternal shrinkage and delamination of ABS plastic during cooling becomes too critical when printing with one millimeter nozzle in one layer. PTG doesn't behave as well in further processing as PLA. Nylon is more expensive and doesn't have sufficient rigidity, which becomes especially noticeable when printing high details, especially on printers with Y-axis moving table such as Ender 3. The perfect printer for this printing technology are models such as Ender 5, in which the table doesn't move along the X and Y axis, but only goes down, which is why high objects have best quality. The disadvantage of this printing method is the high consumption of plastic for support parts if they are needed. Therefore, it is possible to initially model parts in such a way as to reduce support elements to a minimum or replace the supports where they are definitely needed with a regular wall, which will be easier to cut off after printing and the cut will look smoother. Bottom line, what does this printing method give us? We use all advantages of a 3D printer and do not try to achieve strength from 3D printing, which in principle it cannot give. We get accurately modeled and scaled part quickly, cheaply in the background without the need to manually capture fractions of millimeters or exact angles as required by a manual production for cardboard templates, for example, for welding such metal parts. And by the way, two words about welding. To make such a mask with a thickness of, for example, 1 mm and 5 mm, we would need completely different equipment. From metal scissors to laser cutting, different metal bending machines filler rods of different thickness and in general, with each millimeter of metal thickness, the cost of manufacturing such a part increases significantly. But as you will see in the following videos, using this technology on the basis cheap plastic matrix, we will be able to produce parts that are not inferior in properties to metal ones, but with a huge gain in weight. If this video was useful for you, click the likes, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the next videos in which we will reinforce our part with composite materials and cover it with metal.
Good luck with your own projects and see you soon.